Oh. I thought you'd never get here. Oh. Look, is there any chance the tests were wrong? No, they're conclusive. Oh. Well, maybe the results were mixed up. Or... No, Vanessa, this child that I'm carrying is Jeffrey's. My worst nightmare come true. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, I went to see the doctor. I, you know, I did... I did do what you asked, and I, it's good that I did, although I wanted him to tell me something other than what he did. Of course. Uh, well, at least now you know for sure. Yeah, you know for no, sure. And I want to run as fast and as quickly as I can. Don't away do from... that. It doesn't work. I know it doesn't work. I know. And where would I go? Where would I want to go? This is my life. And you're his. Right. So, when I see him, I have to sit him down and I have to tell him what I did wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. Mm. In New York, you saved Harley and Philip. That's what you did. You sacrificed yourself for your friends. And from what you told me, you didn't have any choice. That's right. I didn't, I didn't feel I had any choice at the time. None. All right, there you are. Now, I... I can't say it's going to be easy, but... You have to tell Buzz the truth. You have to be honest and open with him. It worked for Matt and me. I think it'll work for you and Buzz. Oh, I hope so. Buzz knows who you are. He loves you. He adores you. He'll understand that, that you did what you had to do. Harley Phillips said that you found Buzz. Is he all right? Is he, is he all right? Is he okay? He's safe. Oh. So where are you? We are up at Ed Bowers' cabin. But, Jenna, don't ask me any more questions until you see us tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? That sounds like a question. Uh, uh, sorry. Look, I put him on the phone. I need to. I need to hear his voice. Of course, of course. Hold on. You love this woman. Be nice. This isn't over. I know how hard this is on you, Harley, and I'm sorry. You are going to be even sorrier because I suspect that you are the woman that stalked my father, Nola. When I prove that, you're going to pay big time. Buzz? Buzz, are you there? Go ahead. Hello? Oh, Buzz, you can't imagine how, how worried I've been about you. I've had such nightmares of things that could have happened to you, and... Oh, my darling, I miss you so much. I can't wait to see you. I had an accident. Are you all right? Uh, I just hurt my head. Oh, oh thank goodness that's all it was. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that is all it was, right? I mean, you're all, you're all right. No, I'm okay. Tell her you love her. I love you. Uh, Buzz, are you, are you all right? Really? Say it like you mean it. Please. I love you. I love you, too. I love you with all my heart. Are you absolutely sure you're all right? Oh, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. Everything's fine. I miss you so much. I'm going to spend the rest of our lives telling you how much I love you. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, my darling. I love you. <laughs> well, that's good. That looks like a happy person. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, he's alive. <laughs> it's at Ed Bauer's cabin, and that's all that matters, isn't it, Ted? That's right. all that matters. Now, when's he coming here? Oh, uh, tomorrow. No, I'm not, I'm not going to wait till then. No, no, I'm going to surprise him. him. Well, where are you going? Oh, I'm going to go over there. If I have to swim across the lake, I'll do it. Well, no, don't worry. <laughs> I know a shortcut to the cabin. I'll drive you. You are the best friend I have ever uh, had. Don't be silly. I just want to see the look on his face when you walk in the door. Come on, let's go. Where is he? Where's Puss? Jenna. Jenna. Where is he? Oh, oh goodness. You're all right. Oh, oh, goodness. Do you know what a scare you gave us? I, yeah. I was told. Oh, yes. When Harley called me, she said you were all right. But even though I heard your voice on the phone, I was so frightened that you were covering up for my sake that there might be something wrong, really wrong. But I see you now, and I know everything's going to be all right. Everything's fine. Oh. You are such a sight for sore eyes. Let me take a good look at you. No broken bones, no major cuts. Oh, thank heavens. The doctor says I look okay. Oh, you don't know what was going through my mind. You should ask Vanessa. Vanessa knows that I came up with all these crazy scenarios. Yeah, she had you bandaged from here to there, an attraction. Oh, but I can see that none of these horrible things have happened to you. Oh, you're just as good as new. I'll just kiss you all over. I'm so grateful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. I have so much to tell you now. Uh, I know that you're all right. I got something to tell you, too. I think, um, privately. Uh, okay. if you'll excuse us. All of you. Yep. Okay. Okay. Jesus. Well, you and I have to have a little chat in private. Do you want to sit down or... No, thanks. I mean, I thought maybe you want to sit because of your illness or something. Oh, no, no. I'm fine, thanks. I, I just want to know what's what's going on. What do you mean? Well, uh... I mean, Buzz Cooper disappears for a couple of days, and then oh. we find him well, you know, in it, your lab. It, I mean, it, what's happening? It's not time for a long explanation, really. Ah, but there is an explanation. Yes, there is. We need to get him to Springfield now to treat his amnesia. His what? He had a car accident, and he hit his head, and he has amnesia, and he needs immediate medical treatment now, and I'm going to go start the car. Oh, no, you're not. Come right back here. What was Buzz Cooper doing up here in the first place? I don't know. Okay. What were you doing up here? I needed a break. Jay set this whole thing up for me, and I needed to get away. Away from what? My life. But now I'm rested, I'm relaxed, and I'm ready to go home. Doesn't cut it. What do you mean? Have you forgotten to whom you're speaking? Henry Chamberlain's daughter. Known you a long time, haven't always gotten along with you, but, you know, all I have to do is take one look at your face, and I know you're covering something up. Oh, of course. You know, I, I should have... The queen of cover-up. Oh, of course, faking your own death. Of course you would know. Of course. Tell me, Vanessa, what is it I'm trying to hide? That's what you're going to tell me. Oh, he was a tired little bunny. He went to sleep before we even opened the books. All right. Okay, I'm on my way. Can I ask you something? Sure. What if you were to tell Buzz about the baby you're carrying and Vanessa, that might ground no, him so... No, no, I am not going to trick him by physically or emotionally pulling him back here. And besides, if I was worried about telling him the truth before all of this, you can imagine how I feel right now. Buzz, it's all right, you don't know me, but by the way, I'm pregnant and it's not your kid. It's, it's another man's kid and he's a really bad guy. No, I don't, I don't think so. You're not being fair to him. Excuse me. You're not being fair to Buzz at all. Because I'm giving him time and space to get his life together? Because you're giving up on him. There's a big difference. Uh, I, I'm not... I'm, I, I'm just not following you on this. You know, in some ways, what's going on is very much like what happened between Matt and me. Yeah, really. I don't think Matt ever forgot who you were. <laughs> 
No. He just thought I was dead. Vanessa, I'm really not getting this. Okay. When I got sick, I left Springfield because I thought that I would spare everybody in my family a lot of suffering. They wouldn't have to go through the disease process with me. But I didn't, I didn't protect them at all. And as for me, I just was completely sucked up into some big black hole, just, just totally in, in utter darkness. I don't see the similarities here. Well, you see, that's what's happened to Buzz. He's in, he's in darkness. He's, he's hiding, he's lost. I know that, but how do I find him instead of a stranger? You go look for him. Look for him just the way Matt did. Matt went halfway around the world. He, he built a house for a woman that he wasn't even sure he was going to ever see again. You're not going to find him sitting here waiting. You might lose him. You already lost him once. When you were pregnant with Coop and you ran away. It was awful. Don't lose him again. Just don't.